So six o'clock, 12 o'clock, that hopefully makes sense. And then the left hip heavy is three o'clock and the right hip heavy is nine o'clock. So you can just practice that three o'clock, nine o'clock. And notice as you're doing this, and this doesn't have to be really big, can you actually move your pelvis, not from your feet pushing, but can you move your pelvis internally from your hip muscles, somewhat abdominal muscles? And I'm going to put my hands up here to, for you if you need to see this. You don't have to hold your hands here on your forehead. <laughs> you can have your hands by your side. Um, just kind of noticing, oh yeah, and maybe there's one side that goes a little further and one side that doesn't go so far. And maybe one side elicits a little discomfort. I don't know, it doesn't have to at all, but just kind of becoming aware of the side to side. And then let's let's kind of go diagonal. We're going to go what would be like a five o'clock or maybe a 4.30. So I'm anteriorly rotating my pelvis and make it heavy on the left and then I'm going to go posterior to the right which could be 11 o'clock 10 30 and I'm going to go diagonal left hip down and heavy arching sits bone heavy and I'm going to go into the posterior 11 30 10 30 11 o'clock so diagonal this is basically walking a diagonal movement in the pelvis and breathing it's kind of nice to inhale on the arch which would be our 4 35 o'clock and exhaling on the curl 10 30 11 o'clock maybe one more time and again less is more here don't go don't go overboard and then just let the pelvis come to rest and feel maybe a difference between your left and your right side. Maybe not. Not a requirement ever, but it's just honing your skills, becoming more sensitive to your body, to, your, to how it feels. I can't stress it enough. It's, most people just feel pain and then nothing. Um, we have so many more options of feeling <laughs> besides pain or nothing, especially when it comes to the body. So let's go 1.30 or 2 o'clock. So left hip is down and heavy. Uh, so anterior, uh, sorry, posterior tilt and heavy. And then going anterior into 7 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock maybe. So there's that rotation, that diagonal. The diagonal movement now, right side heavy as you drop the sit bone, and then left side as you lift the sit bone. So the exact opposite of what we did on the first side. Inhaling maybe to arch. Exhale to curl. And this is really profound stuff. This might seem like nothing, but letting the pelvis move without really moving much of anything else is huge. All right. So let's come back to center. Feel maybe your low back feels a little heavier. Maybe your pelvis feels a little bit more grounded. That could be really nice. And let's do a full pelvic clock, which means we have to now, and this is again paying attention. Um, so we're going to hit every time in our clock. We're going to start, let's say at 12 o'clock, and then we're going to go over to one and then two and then three. And here we got to switch. So it's bone heavy, four, five, six, and then seven, right side gets to be heavy eight heavier nine is like the heaviest and then starting to tilt the pelvis towards you for 10 11 12 and then come to neutral which is no tuck or curl or arch 
And then we're going to go one time the other way around. Going to tilt the pelvis towards you. And we're going to go 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Sits bones away, full on straight. And then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 12 o'clock. Full on tilt towards you. And then release that. And then just take another moment, maybe straighten the legs. Mm 